So at DMM we make, manufacture, prototype, do all the testing, we do all the touring, all the designing is done in-house. Once that's in and we're starting to make a carabiner, the first job on the actual manufacturing of a beaner will be chopping the bar to length. The next job would be bending the bar into the rough shape, the rough form of the carabiner that it's going to be. But all those cut pieces of bar, put onto the bowing machine and bent to shape. The next job is where we give all the features, all the shaping to the beaner, move the metal where we want it, make it strong and light. And that's in a hot forging process, so it's a stamping. Again, that batch of beaners get heated up. And then the press itself, it's a big, you know, strong press, can do a lot of force, but it's also heated up to a similar temperature, so we've got a big lump of hot metal smacking into the round bar, which is also hot. But in that hot forging, we can do everything from the logo, you know, the strengths actually get forged in, as long as, as well as moving the metal where we need it in terms of making it as strong and as light as possible. When the carabiner's gone through that hot forging, when it's been stamped, there's a, an excess of metal which is squeezed out of the side, kind of a flashing. So the next job would be to clip off that metal. It's a bit like a pastry cutter comes down and clips off the metal. The next job would be the heat treatment, and that doesn't change how a carabiner looks, but it really, really affects the strength of the carabiner. A lot of strength is added in that heat treatment. Um, to give you a rough idea of what happens is you put that whole batch of carabiners into a furnace, heat it up, and it just changes that atomic structure of the beaner. It gets rid of any weaknesses which might be in that alloy. Um, and it, yeah, like I say, it can almost double the strength of the, of the carabiner. After we've done that, um, we've got a, a beaner which looks pretty much like this, which is good and strong. But from that clipping, there'll be a few little edges um, around the beaner. Obviously, the critical point would be where your rope might run. So to get the beaners in a really nice, silky smooth finish, they get put into a rumbling machine, where all the beaners shake around in this, this machine with a bunch of ceramic kind of pyramids, ceramic chips, which they just knock against the beaner and take off all those little sharp bits of metal. So once the carabiners have been assembled, every single carabiner will go through quality control, quality inspection. Um, every carabiner gets handled, you know, you look at the action of the gate, check it works in those ways. You're also looking for cosmetic blemishes, seeing if there's any structural issues in that carabiner, if there's a crack in it, if the, if the hot forging hadn't worked quite right. After they've passed through quality inspection, it would be final testing. So from the batch of, of six, seven hundred beaners, we don't proof load every beaner. We take away a, a sample number and we'll snap those in, in all of the orientations that a carabiner has to be tested. So major axis, cross loading and, uh, and gate open. So at DMM, we're really proud of the fact that we manufacture, design, test carabiners 100% in the UK. It's something we've done from day one from when we started in 1981 and I think it's something we'll be doing for as long as we can, as long as we're going. <laughs>